uh, boat before, but now it's got a new turbo. Good work, bro. Good work. Yay, my car runs again. <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa. Sick. Whoa, I want another my one. Garage. Hey, wait, is this what this side of the garage looks like? Jesus. We'll lose, we'll lose this. this yeah, definitely save this moment because it will be covered again. For another, oh, wow. <laughs> like, yeah, many months. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to uh, introduce. I want to introduce because it's already been on the channel, but we're going to sort of start to make steps on the new project car. No, I'm not talking about this one. Or oh, that one. Or oh, that one up there. Or oh, this one. Congratulations, Chris. He uh, just extended his loom and did all sorts of fuckery. Fuse box is like under the dash now. You killed it, man. Good work. Not this one. Not this one either. But this one. <laughs> right, well, I'll get the compressor out, I guess, and we'll pump the tires up. I think it's got seized brakes as well, so we have to move one, two, three, well, four, five. I'll work on that, and I'll, be move, I'll move everything. Yeah, sick. All right, sounds like a deal. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments. Are you hyped for this build? Fire out. I just went and bought a motor two days ago. Super stoked. Got an awesome deal on the motor from a mate, so thank you very much. You are a legend. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's only been sitting there for like 10 minutes. That thing is a proper cool car. Oh, I hate my haircut, it's fucking gross. <laughs> Hell yeah, fuck oath man. This thing is so sick. This thing's also such a sick car. It's got a 3VZ FE, I think. It's a Toyota V6 in it. Camry motor. So cool. All of the talks. Hey, Chris. The talky boy. It talks. Yeah, do you want to try to use this? I Wait, mean, this will work. It's here. Yeah. Might as well. I mean, this dragged a car that weighs more with a motor in it up the driveway than with players. That is true. If I'm not lazy, I'll put the clip in. Ah, oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know where that clip is. Either. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well then I'll line up a bit better. Alright, what's that play out of the car? Pull it! Yeet! Ideally, I would like to go and ask first, yeah. but it depends how shit it is. Poor grass. Actually, here. No, no handbrake. Okay. Try and push it with me. Actually, okay. I did put the handbrake on. Oh, okay. So I. You're weaking. Well, the handbrake seems like it works. But if I can pull you. Uh, like, to be honest. Oh, hang on. Okay, let's push it and see how hard it's to push. Okay. Oh Thank my you. god. This is so sick. Come on, let's. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, cool. Alright, sweet. So, I reckon we swing and we get Alexis to steer and just sit her in there and just go left hand down. Yeah. And you, me and Nick just okay. push. She's in here. I'm hyped about this. I think my plan is now. I'm gonna take the front windscreen out. And then we'll head inside and I'll tell you all the plans and what I reckon I'm gonna do, and timeline and all that sorts of stuff. But I'm super pumped. I hope you guys are too. Please tell me what you think I should do and your thoughts in the comments. So, synopsis, it's actually not super bad. I know that it looks super bad, but 
I just went around and sanded it. Well, I tried to get rid of a little bit of the rust. Like it's mostly just surface rust. You can tell it's not actually super structural. Like obviously the rust is not great at all. And I know where the foot well is, there is a bit of rust that I'll have to cut out, which is not great. But I was most worried about the window and these uh, A pillars. There's a little bit of shot in there. Mm. They do need to be sanded and whatnot, but that's cool. I'm stoked about that. The sunroof, there's also a bit of rust around down here, so not too sure. My plan at the moment regarding the rust, uh, we'll talk about the other stuff later, but regarding the rust, my plan is to sort of, I'm going to end up doing it twice because eventually this car will come down to a complete shell and I would like to paint it all through. But I think for the first step, the car is going to be, obviously get it running and whatnot. There's a new windscreen, a little bit of like sand primer, stop the rust sort of spreading for a little bit. Sort of just try and get it driving, like sort of get it enough to be, you know, it's not just sitting in the garage. <laughs> the reason that I don't want to just do it properly the first time is I would love to do it all myself. And I know that there's so many big gaps in my abilities at the moment that I feel like I have a lot to improve on. I don't want to like try and jump into this thing now. It's going to cost heaps and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this thing's going to cost me heaps, but we're going to try and do it budget. But yeah, I reckon that's enough work done on this thing for today. Yeah, that was heavy. Good Some weird things. Oh, really? Did it like break up or? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's because the O2 sensor's covered in oil. It doesn't get hot. It's not getting hot and the timing's fine. Sick. So. I mean, um, that could be good or bad. Well, I, uh, I just, I want to, basically, I'm going to, i got to let all that oil burn off. Yeah. And then pull the O2 sensor and then clean it and then check the box. Check me. That car gets me so excited. Man, there's something about the hatch and the pop-ups that's just so cool. I do have the pop-ups, they are actually in the boot, which is sick. Um, there's heaps of stuff the car's missing. It's a project. But I'm super stoked to like, sort of start to get the ball rolling on it. Like, it's it's in the garage and every time I walk into the garage I see it, which is just like, super exciting. Rather than it being outside underneath the cover, making me sad. <laughs> on the other side of this whiteboard, uh, I did sort of the stuff, the build list and whatnot. I mean, not really a build list, but it's more the stuff of what I need to get the car running. So uh, you have to stay tuned for that. In the next video coming up, you get to see what motor is going in it. Like always, massively appreciate you guys for like supporting the channel and watching the videos. It's, it's such a cool feeling when I meet people and they say, hey, I watch your shit, or like just reading the comments. Like it's, it's such a cool thing and I appreciate all you guys. Especially you guys who stayed this far in the video. I'm just so grateful. Makes me so happy. Anyway, like always, if you are new here and you do subscribe, your name will be at the end of the next video. Please tell me what you think in the comments. I want to hear your uh, your thoughts. See you in the next one. Get pumped.